Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to try to make a video real fast, okay? It's going to be fast because I don't have a lot of time today. i got way too much to do, just like always. But uh, I have a 2009 Monaco Dynasty. It's got an aqua hot hydronic heating system in it. So a customer is complaining that there is heating on one zone, but not heating on two other zones. So this has three, three zone hydronic heating, uh, hydronic heating on it. I haven't done any real troubleshooting on it, uh, but I'm going to suspect it's something pretty simple. Please keep in mind... I'm very, very short for time, and I did not plan on making this video, but I thought it'd be good information for you guys. If you can't keep up, I apologize. Now, uh, I have a few, uh, one or two videos on Hydro Hot or Aqua Hots. They're kind of like a home heating oil boiler. There's your water heater and your furnace. So it's a hydronic heater. It burns diesel fuel to uh, warm up uh, an antifreeze solution that gets piped to little radiators throughout the little zones. Then if, and then there's a pump outside at the uh, aqua hot that pumps that, that, that coolant around and little radiators inside and air blows across it. So when you turn on the thermostat for furnace or aqua hot, all it's doing is telling the aqua hot down there, turn on that little circulation pump and then turn on the fan to blow air across it. Uh, other than that, they basically just gonna work like a, a heater core in a car, take an engine heat and blow air across it. Uh, but there's one thing that always seems to happen if you don't use them every once in a while and we're gonna take a look at that. So I got my infrared sensor right here. I go down here and I check it out. Let's see, yeah, it's hot right there, right? So I'm calling for uh, hydronic heating at the front and in the bedroom. So I do have the furnace turned on on all my zones, except for zone two, because I didn't have a furnace. Uh, so the bathroom's running. It's 76 degrees. If I go into the bedroom here, right down here, it's also running. It's not blowing hot air. Try this last one here. All right, that one's running. 77 degrees. All right. So we're agreed. It's not heating out here, it was heating at the dash. And I can even turn the water right here. Alright, so that's, that's getting warm enough. Alright, so 105, 108, that's good. So the aqua hot is on on diesel. And the thermostat's calling for it, so diesel burner's on. If I to go outside, you'll probably hear the diesel burn or the aqua hot running. We're gonna try to hope that we can figure this out. Pay no attention to the water leaks. That's my fault from doing something else. Let me take this apart so we can see it. So if I grab these hoses right here, I can feel this one's hot, that one's not hot, this one's not hot, and that one's hot. That one's even labeled master bedroom. A lot of times on this manifold, there's a check valve, and sometimes they'll get stuck. So let's see if we can't free it up. All right, well that was a miserable experience getting that off. So you can see that circulating pump is running, that one's running, and that one's running. So you have directional flow goes out and back down into the loop here. So they're all hot right there. Not hot. Not hot. Hot. So let's just try the most important method ever made. We're gonna hit it with a hammer. It's feeling warm. All right, so let's see if we can't see the temperature raise. 120, 120. Well, that's feeling warm. That one's feeling warm. All right, let's go inside, see if we got hot air now. 
Oh, we already knew that was hot, right? No, it's still hot. Well, it feels hot in here already. 116. <sighs> Cool. All right, so it's coming up. We come over to here. Look at that. Okay. All right, so that was on the Aqua Hot, Hydro Hot. Uh, they both have that check valve on it. Doesn't matter which one they have. It's just a directional check valve so that the uh, the coolant only or the uh, Hydronic heating, uh, the loop only goes one direction. It's really, really common for that little, uh, it's a brass uh, flapper in there. It just gets stuck to a seal. And uh, sometimes it just gets stuck, especially if it hasn't been used for a while. So, a little tap, a little tappy tap. You know, the mechanics, uh, it's the go-to for every mechanic. That's your first repair, is hit it with a hammer. Second repair is to hit it a little bit harder. Well, that was a quick little video. I really don't have a lot of time to do much more than that. I hope that helped out somebody out there. But of course, don't do that if the pump's not pumping. If the pump outside you can't see is pumping, hitting it with a hammer's not doing anything either. All right, I'm hot as can be in here now. Turn that off. And yes, I'll take this opportunity to go wash that off. But yeah, whoever, uh, is that Monaco? I do not like you. This was a stupid design, and I don't like you. Bearing something that important like that. All right. High tech. Simple green. I don't want to shame anybody because I have a trailer that's full of uh, rat droppings myself. It's so common. Almost. Yeah, this is an Aqua Hot. Uh, AHE 600. Do your uh, next service guy a favor. Don't tighten up all these screws as tight as they can be. It's. I don't even like putting this thing back on because it doesn't really serve a real purpose. It's already going to be an enclosed spot, but I'm not going to take away something. But this needs to be taken off on, on and off an awful lot for servicing. So try not to make it miserable if you can help it. So again, that's just a little check uh, body right in there. It's a common uh, plumbing part, but it just gets stuck in there. That's, Aqu that's Aqua Hot's own uh, advice too, before you change that out. All right, so I just got everything kind of lightly put together. There's little tabs underneath here that foot behind the, uh, the panel, so it doesn't come out. There's a screw right over there. One right over. That one in right there. That'll be the easiest one to get to. Get my super fancy screwdriver. This thing saved me so many times, this tiny little guy. And done. Then of course, once you're done doing that, do make sure you weren't so aggressive. With uh, the stupid panel that shouldn't have been mounted right here. And then pull that out. That can be frustrating sometimes. Alright, all those wires look good. Now I can put it back. Alright, that's still on. Again, no, pay no attention to the uh, water leak. That was a different issue. That was a quick accidental video about uh, how to fix an aqua hot that may not be cooling a particular zone. If one of the zone pumps is running, but you aren't getting any heat. Maybe just hit it with a hammer. Oh, couldn't hurt. Uh, this is a 2009 Dynasty, but you'll find them on a whole bunch of RVs out there. And they all have them. Bye guys, I gotta get back to work. Got lots to do. this panel right here
with uh, the stupid panel that. All right, guys. So that was uh, 